Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we are doing Mean, Median, Mode, and Range. Let's do it. We are going to talk about the Mean, Median, Mode, and Range. All of these things are often called measures of central tendency. Well, not all of them. Range is just range. But those three, Mean, Median, and Mode, are often called the measures of center or the measure of central tendencies. All right? Let's take a look. Mean is the average, the actual like mathematical average of a list of numbers. The way we calculate that average is that you add up the list of numbers and divide by the number of numbers. That's it. Those are the steps. This can sometimes take a little bit of time. I'll show you. If I have this list of numbers, you go, wow, that's not so bad. But if you have to add them all up, you're adding 2 plus 5 plus 4 plus 8 plus 12 plus 4 plus 7 plus 11 plus 23 plus 2 plus 4. It takes a little bit of time. Then after you've added them all up, then you need to divide by how many numbers are there. So I have to count how many numbers. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's 11 numbers. So I'm going to add up all of the numbers and then divide by 11. That's what it would look like. Okay, the addition gets done first, so we can put it in a fraction bar and set all the addition in the numerator. If you're writing it out um, just horizontally, you'd have to put parentheses around all the addition and then divide by 11 when you're done. So what this looks like is when we add them all up, we get 88. And 88 divided by 11 gives us 8. That was pretty nice gave us a nice even answer. All of my questions will give you nice even answers. So if you end up with a massive long decimal number, stop, go back and add up the numbers again um, or count the number of numbers again because you shouldn't end up with anything that's really complex for this. We're just learning how to do it. I'm not going to throw something like that at you. All right. I want you to try it out with this list of numbers here. Find the mean of this list of numbers. Add up the numbers and divide by the number of numbers. Try it out. Go. Hey, welcome to me showing you the answer. Here it is. That's the way I would write it. I'm adding up all those numbers and dividing by 9. When I add them all up, I get 54. 54 divided by 9 is equal to 6. That's the mean. The mean is the average. All right, the actual mathematical or statistical average of all those numbers when you combine them together. Okay, now we're going to talk about median. Oftentimes when I think about median, I think about a car driving on the road, right? Where you have a median. That median is that divider between two things and it sits right in the middle. That helps me remember that the median is the number in the exact middle. The way you calculate the median is that you list the numbers in order from least to greatest. That's very important. If you just pick the middle number without listing them in order, you're just picking a random number. It has to be an order from least to greatest, and then you just find the middle number. So here's, here's an, our list. This list might look familiar to you. So if you take that entire list and then you rearrange it so that it's in order from least to greatest, Finding the middle number could look something like this. I'm going to start by crossing off the, the first and the last, and then the second and the second last, third, third, last. I'm kind of working my way in until I get to the middle. That is the median. The median is the number that's right in the middle, just like the median is in the middle of the road. All right, your turn. I want you to find the median of this list of numbers. Remember to list them in order and find the middle number. Go for it. All right, let's do it. This is the list I have when I listed them in order. 2, 3, 4, 4, 4, 8, 9, 10, 10. I just took the same list and listed them in order from least to greatest. One trick I'd like to share with you, it, because you often lose a number when you're listing them from your randomized list to your list in order. A way to check is to count the number of numbers. You had to do that to find the mean anyway. 
But if we count how many numbers are in the first list, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then we count the numbers in our second list, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, we notice that there is the same number of numbers. And that's exactly what you're doing. You want to make sure it's the same list, just in order. Then we're going to work our way into the center, and boom, we have 4 as our median. Now, what happens when you get an even number of numbers? And you see it's written in there. I wrote calculate the mean. But the mean of what? Let me show you. So you're going to list the order, the numbers in order, least to greatest, find the middle two numbers. So here's our, our order, or here's our numbers in the list, in order. And when we work our way into the center, we have two numbers, six and eight. We have to calculate the mean or the average of those two numbers. And to do that, pretend that your list is just two numbers long. I've got six, eight, and there's two numbers. So you would add six plus eight and divide by two. Six plus eight divided by two gives me 14 divided by two, and that leaves me with seven. So if you're ever given a list with an even number of numbers, and you will on the worksheet and on the quiz, work your way into the center and then find the average of those two numbers. Add them together and divide by two. All right, so that was it with median. Now let's look at the third central tendency, which is mode. Mode is the most. It's the modes. It's the number that appears the most often. That's it. You don't need to put these numbers in order. You don't need to count how many of them there are. You just look and you say, wow, there's an awful lot of fours. That means the mode is four. It's the number that appears most often. That's it. Mode is actually the easiest one to find. All right, let's look um, at this list. I want you to go ahead and calculate the mode for this list. All right. The mode is again four because there are three fours inside of that list. Try calculating the mode for this list. Which number appears most often? Well, six and eight both appear twice. Notice that? It's kind of strange. It's not very helpful, but this is a special case. When there are two numbers that both appear the most often, you would say the mode is 6 and 8. All right, our mode is both 6 and 8. Another special case is if you're given a list of numbers like this. How would you find the mode? 2, 4, 5, 6, 10, 11, 13. It's actually listed in order from least to greatest, which is helpful in finding the mode but there's no number that appears more than one time. If that's the case, we say that there is no mode. So a mode can be a single number, more than one number, or you can say there is no mode. Now let's move on to the range. The range is, all it is is a subtraction question. You take the maximum value minus the minimum value. So if I'm asked to find the range of this set of data, here's what I would do. The first step is that I'm going to place um, it in order. Now you do not have to do this. I just find that it's a, it helps. And if I'm calculating the, the median, I have to do it anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and list those numbers in order. That just shows me, oh, the minimum value is two and the maximum value is nine. And I'm gonna subtract. 9 minus 2, our maximum value minus the minimum value, and that gives me 7. Again, I didn't need to put them in order from least to greatest. I just find that helpful. And if you're asked to calculate, calculate mean, median, mode, and range for a list of numbers, which you will be in the worksheet, you'll have it in order anyway, which is nice. All right. So again, you could have gone from the list and said, oh, I know nine is the biggest number and two is the smallest number. Nine minus two is seven. Absolutely fine. If you're just calculating the range, you don't have to put it in order. Now's your time to do it though. Go ahead and calculate the range of this list of numbers. If you want, you can put them in order. 
But either way, you need to take the largest number minus the smallest number in that list. So try it out. All right, I put it in order. So I know that two is my minimum value and 10 is my maximum value. So when I subtract 10 minus two to get eight, it's just quick and easy. I know I've done it right. Okay. So again, just um, one more practice here. This is the type of question that you're going to get on the worksheet. And the quiz questions are broken down to being individual, but basically they're the same. You need to calculate, you need to be comfortable calculating mean, median, mode, and range for an entire list of numbers. With this one, I want you to calculate the mean, median, and mode for this list. Go ahead and try that out. Three, two, one, pause and practice. Hey, welcome back. Our mean is adding up the numbers and dividing by the number of numbers. So I have three plus five plus nine plus six plus two plus eight plus two divided by seven, which gives me 35 over seven. My mean is five. The median is calculated by listing the numbers in order. Bing, 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 bing. And going to the center there. The mode is calculated by determining which number is listed most often. So if I have my list of numbers there, two is the number that's listed most often because it's there and there. Okay. So that was finding or practicing finding mean, median, and mode. I think I had my animations backwards on that on the lists. So you might have been given that original list in this order, 3596282, and you had to put it in order to find the median. So that was kind of weird. Anyway, now we're going to practice finding the range. Go ahead and try that one more time. All right. Did you place them in order? You don't have to, but maybe you did. Then we subtract, in this case, 25 minus 19, which gives us six. We have a range of six. Couple of things to remember. The median is the middle. The mean is the average. The mode is the most often. And our range is basically the difference between the maximum and minimum values. I hope that lesson was fun for you and helpful. Have fun by practicing that worksheet and good luck on the quiz. Have a wonderful day.